Hi! Hello! Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing empties. I have a very full bag of empties. I kind of want to leave my glasses on so I can see if things are in focus, but like the ring light glare kills me. So <sighs> I will do without. But I can't remember the last time I did an empties video. I want to say maybe in August. So I think these are September and October empties. So two months, maybe August, September and October. I truly cannot remember. I'm, I'm gonna look real fast because that's gonna bother me. Because I'm like, yeah, that could be like two months worth of empties, but it could also more realistically be three months worth of empties. <laughs> empties into clutters. What, a month ago? That's not right. I've got empties. June through August. Last time I, did <laughs> I couldn't remember the last time I did it then too. Okay, these are two months of empties. I'm very impressed with myself then, if that's the case. Um, and just like last time, I'm not going to like choose, I'm not gonna prioritize, not prioritize, categorize any of these. I'm just gonna pull, I'm just gonna pull them out and give you my opinion on them and move on. So let's start with this one. It's a lotion. Johnson & Johnson uh, Baby Creamy Oil Aloe and Vitamin E. I buy this because it's supposed to help with mosquitoes. It's mosquitoes supposedly hate this. Um, I think it works sometimes, but I get eaten alive no matter what. So overall, it's still a very good lotion. I have another one. I've been using it. I still get mosquito bites. I don't think it's this fault. I'm sure it's trying its hardest. But um, I would absolutely repurchase because I do like it. It's very hydrating. It's a good lotion. Um, the Lawless Glam Guard Long Wearing Skin Smoothing Makeup Protecting Setting Spray. Long Wear Setting Spray. I liked it. Um, I don't know what happened, but eventually the spray, I don't know if it got like build up or something, but it didn't have as nice of a mist. <coughs> but it has that like rattle in there like the ball bearings or whatever I don't really know it is very nice I liked the size of it um I don't know how many ounces 1.7 fluid ounces so I I think I did take this with me when I travel I might keep this bottle for travel um I don't know if I would repurchase I don't really use setting sprays anymore especially now that it's not as hot but in that smaller size, yeah, I probably would. Uh, Milani Green Goddy, Green Goddy, Green Goddess Makeup Melter Cleansing Balm. Um, would repurchase. I have repurchased. I think this might be my second one that I finished. And I think it's good. Most cleansing balms don't wow, like, not that they don't wow me. Um, they all do what they're supposed to do. It's my first cleanse usually. It gets the majority of my makeup off. It does melt it. Um, but I do like this one a lot, especially compared to any higher end one. Uh, like I have the pharmacy one right now. It's very nice. It does just as good of a job as this one, but I think it costs like twice as much. Why? Why? When you can buy drugstore melting stuff, uh, cleansing balms. What's the rule of thumb? Like, if it goes down the drain, don't spend that much money on it, meaning your cleansers. So, Milani, oh, another Milani product. Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. So I don't know why I'm talking so fast and going so fast. I have plenty of batteries. I don't know why, I just feel like I have to like run through these, so. Oh well. Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer. I love this. This is a great foundation. Uh, I have another one. My sister actually gave me the one that she had because it was too light for her. I love this foundation. I've had many a bottle in my day and I will continue to buy it. It is very full coverage. It's the most full coverage foundation that I've used in quite a while. Some days when my skin is really bad, it's really good. Sometimes it's a little too much, especially when I'm having better skin days. But overall, still a foundation that I like to have in my collection. Um, it's always nice to have at least one full coverage foundation, I think. But would recommend, would repurchase. I love that foundation. 
Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. Uh, there's the tiniest bit in there that I could not get to come spray out. Very nice. Again, I like the size of this, 1.69 fluid ounces. I could use this for travel. Um, actually, I think I like this bottle better. I'll have to like fill them with water and see which spray is better because that makes a big difference. I remember that one having a nice spray. And I think it's just when they get to the end where they start to like spit at you. So um, I will, I'll test that out uh, and keep one of those for travel purposes. Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. Um, this was like, a, not a, this one wasn't a newer purchase to me. I remember people just raving about this mascara. This is so many people's holy grail, ride or die. And I had just never tried it. And I finally did. And I totally get the hype. I think this is a great mascara. I think this is the second tube of it that I have. I don't know if I have another one right now. I might. But I would. I will absolutely keep repurchasing this. This is one that I would like to keep on hand. Um, and just buy one every three months. Because that's about how long I keep my mascaras. That's about how long they last. When I have just a few to choose from. But um, definitely get the hype. Very volumizing and lengthening. Doesn't smudge too much. Every mascara does smudge on me. But I, I think this is a great mascara. Absolutely would recommend. A cap. Oh, another foundation. This was the L'Oreal True Match Nude Hyaluronic Tinted Serum. I had the shade 0.5 to 2 Very Light. Oh, and it was perfect. This was a great shade match. I scraped as much of it out as I could using my little makeup spatula, the spatty. Um, I would absolutely repurchase this, especially as I have started moving t more towards more medium coverage, light coverage foundations. I don't think this was a light coverage. I think this was, it says it's a tinted serum. I thought this had very good coverage for being a tinted serum. I would call it medium. Uh, and I think those look might nice on me these days, more so than the fuller coverage foundations that I used to wear. I used to be the full coverage queen. I was like self, self-proclaimed full coverage queen. I love full coverage makeup. I wanted a blank slate. I want to be able to erase all my imperfections and then add my angles and stuff back in. Less so now, might be because I'm older, might be because I'm like more okay with who I am as a person and I don't need to wear masks as much. Not that I really ever feel that my makeup is a mask. I think my makeup is nice and I think it reflects how I feel about myself, which is pretty. <laughs> so, but with that being said, sometimes full coverage foundation is too much now, looks too heavy. My skin is not quite as firm as it used to be, and so full coverage foundation sometimes will sit in my fine lines and my wrinkles and make me look more dry than I am. So we have switched to more medium coverage, and we're not sad about it. We love this. We love this for her. We love this evolution. This is the Naturally Serious After Dark uh, Natural Peptide Sleeping Cream. I got this through Octoly. I've had a couple of things through this brand before, Naturally Serious, and I like them. I think they're quality. I've liked all the stuff that I've had from them. And this was very nice. I would mix it with an oil, uh, like a vitamin E oil. Oh, I have an empty in my bathroom. I have to go get that. <laughs> now that I said oil. But I would mix it with this, and I just like to add it as extra hydration, extra boost. But I would use this at nighttime leave on overnight and I woke up my skin always felt very nice I would absolutely repurchase this I think this was a great overnight mask especially as we're getting more into winter and this the weather is changing I like a, a heavier more nourishing uh, face cream moisturizer <laughs> I lost my words um, I just want to like pack it on and keep the hydration in as the weather gets colder Oh, this was the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer in the shade Tan Lines. I was very happy to use it up. I think it's a great product. I would buy it again. I wish there was a cooler toned one to use more as contour. Um, but as a very affordable cream bronzer, absolutely I would repurchase this. Um, 
I like the size too. Like more makeup should come in sizes like this. This took me a few months to use up. Like, I don't know, five, six months maybe. That's good. If makeup came in smaller sizes, I think the world would be a better place and I wouldn't feel so overwhelmed by my collection sometimes. That's neither here nor there. Uh, Ojo's Perfecto Liquid Eyeliner by Araceli. This was my favorite eyeliner for a very long time. It says its shelf life is only six months. I easily had this for over a year. It still honestly hasn't dried out. It's still a very good eyeliner. I, I've just had it for a year and a half and I feel like maybe I should let it go. Maybe I should let it go because it's very old and it's only supposed to last, last for six months. So more of a declutter than an empty. Differin gel, uh, probably like my fourth tube of this. I use it fairly regularly. Um, I have started using the Youth to the People retinol and I kind of go back and forth between the two. One night I'll use this and one night I'll use that. So I'm kind of getting both the anti-aging in one and um, acne in this one because I think Differin is more for, uh, uh, what is it, Adapalene? Adapalene? is for treating acne and I feel like the re uh, youth to the people one um it has more to do with the anti-aging aspects of it helping fine line and wrinkles clarity of the skin which I think it's like a miracle uh worker I feel like my skin looks amazing every time I use that youth to the people one but it's like 60 bucks so I'm happy to spread it out <laughs> another eyeliner this is the Trey Chic one actually I think this one is empty it's all gone. There's nothing in there. Um, I actually think I lost the tip of it, the, the very end of it. Because I did that, I opened it and it just like shot out onto the floor, but there was like that much left. I was like, I'm not putting that back in the component and then putting it on my face after it had been on the floor. So we called it good. We called it, a, we called it empty, called it what it was. This is the NARS radiant creamy concealer which I liked very much still not as much as the soft matte concealer um and I couldn't get my spatty in there I guess I didn't take the stopper out but I don't think my spatty would still fit in this little tiny tube um I would buy it I would purchase a full size of this but if I had to choose between this one and the soft matte concealer soft matte concealer all day every day forever ever ever and always if they didn't have that and they had my shade in this I would buy this this is a covergirl true blend translucent powder I'll tell you what oh well, yes there was like tiny pieces of it but um, I used to use loose powder loose powder to set my makeup and that stuff lasts forever. I've gone through, just this year alone, at least three or four of these. in Like pressed powders, not this one in particular, but pressed powders. So I don't know what that says. I don't know if loose powders have more vol like volume per container, if pressed powders n naturally come with less, if I use more in a pressed powder way. I don't know. I don't really understand the science behind it or the math. But all I know is that I've used a lot of these pressed powders this year. So that's when I made the switch. This is a declutter. This is a ColourPop lipstick in the shade Sachet. And the only reason I'm decluttering this is because I have a Milani matte fetish lipstick in the shade Dahlia, which is almost exactly the same shade as this. Like if you put them side by side, you would be hard pressed to tell which one was which. And the Milani one feels better. This one's very drying. Um, it's a matte lipstick, but I don't know if it's just because it's old or because the other one's just creamier. So I don't need two lipsticks that are the same shade when I don't even like the way this one feels. So I'm decluttering it making better choices about what I already have in my collection, what is a repeat, what is a duplicate, and which one do I like better, because I only need one. We're working on it. 
And then lastly, the last thing is a Carmex. I feel like I have a Carmex in almost every empty that I do and that makes me happy because I have a lot of Carmex and I feel like until I had started doing these empties, I would never have finished them, right? And I don't know if it's because I do empties or if I'm just better at keeping track of my Carmexes, but I, I mean, I have multiple Carmex in play at the moment. I at least have two out there that I know of. I have one in here somewhere because I applied it earlier today. Um, I have one in my bedroom. I have some at work. I have one in my bag. So multiple Carmex at play. So it's not like I'm using one the whole time, using it up and then starting another one. Um, I always have many active Carmex, Carmi, Carmexes. I don't know what the plural would be, but uh, this one's empty and it makes me happy. So that's it. Those are my declutters. That was two months of declutters. Um, oh, I have one more. I do have one more. Let me go get it. This is the Ordinary 100% Organic Cold Pressed Rose Hip Seed Oil. I've had numerous of these. I love this oil. It's very affordable. Um, the last two times, I knew I was getting low, um, and the last couple of times I've been to Ulta, they did not have it, uh, which makes me sad. I do use like a vitamin E oil that I got from like Trader Joe's or something. It's sufficient. It gets the job done. I like, especially when I, uh, damage my skin barrier or if I'm feeling extra dry. Sometimes when I get breakouts, I use a, a benzoyl peroxide spot treatment and it really dries my skin out. So I like to mix an oil with my moisturizer or sometimes just slather my face in oil and Vaseline and call it good. So the vitamin E oil does a very sufficient job, gets the job done, but there's just something about this uh, rose hip seed oil I just think it's so nice. It feels so like luxurious <laughs> on my skin. I can like feel it penetrating, but it's not, it, it just leaves, an, it just makes my skin feel really good. It makes my skin feel great. So as soon as I can find it in Ulta again, I will absolutely repurchase it. So that's it. Those are my empties. All of those were my empties for two months. That's not bad. I'm very impressed, very impressed with myself for having two months worth of empties. And that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 18. 18 items decluttered and or empty. Actually, most of them were empties. I only decluttered like two, right? The, the eyeliner, which, you know, 50-50 declutter, empty. And that lipstick, that's it. That was it. Fantastic. Okay, well, thank you for joining. Uh, how are you doing on your empty journey and utilizing your products? Did you see any favorites within mine? Uh, comments about what you liked or what you don't like in my collection and what I have used up, whether you would repurchase or not. Let me know. Leave a comment or two and I will see you in the next one. All right. Bye.